Hello everybody, I am Jess Lance and I would like to welcome all of you back for another video. Anyways, tonight it's just going to be a head shave. Um, so I'll go ahead, what I'll do, I'll show you guys the gear. I'll go ahead, cut away, shave my face, rinse off, come back, do the head shave, rinse off or cut away, rinse off, come back, and do the post. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what we're going to be using tonight. The razor is this. My, I believe is 1910s Gillette Old Type. Uh, which you can see the guard is curved is an old type ball end razor um, it is an open comb it is slightly more aggressive than um, some of the other Gillettes out there uh, the blade in it is on its first use and it is a Gillette Wilkinson Sword Saloon Blade the brush is going to be, let me dump the water out, give it a couple flicks, my Omega 10066 uh, bore hair brush. It's got a, if you're buying these Omegas um, and you see one that says 24 millimeter knot like this one says so 24 millimeter knot and it's not a bad brush plastic vase style handle um, says Omega right there but anyways whatever the diameter of the knot says that's two millimeter the knot size is actually two millimeter small like the 10066 says it says 24 millimeter knot the hole they drill is 24 millimeters the knot has to be slightly smaller than the hole by two millimeters, so the knot is actually a 22 millimeter knot, which is from, that's what I understand from Aaron Fugerit or Frugal Shave. Since it's a warm night, we're going to use something that's a little cooling, and it is my um, Parasso Green. Eucalyptus and menthol shaving soap. Absolutely love that soap. Um, and of course, going to use the matching uh, aftershave with that. One moment, please. Um, to give extra cooling effect, I'm going to go ahead and use a pre-shave. And the pre-shave is going to be the Cremo. Um shaving cream, the um, cooling. I do not get a really good lather. It might be my water um, for whatever reason. Who knows? Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's my technique in bowl lathering. I usually do pretty decent in bowl lathering, but that could be it. But I get, I find this to be a much better uh, pre-shave. Got that tip um, through, uh, I believe now his channel is the Desert Shaver, uh, Leonard Ybarra. At least that's why I've seen him refer to himself before as, which is the Desert Shaver. Anyhow, uh, going to go ahead, cut away here, come back, and we'll do a head shave. See you in a minute. Hey everybody, that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. Um... Yeah, neck's good, cheeks are good, rough mouth, real nice. Yeah, the old type head definitely goes through the whiskers. Um, I've got two, two and a half days growth, so, um, since my last shave, so, yeah, but nice, baby butt smooth, really, really happy with, pardon me while I, Face turbate. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> but anyways, so let's go ahead, let's wet the dome here and get on with the shave. And tonight's drink is ice cold water brought to you by Wonder Woman. <laughs> Tell you what, oh, by the way, I hope you all have been doing well. Um, Hope you all have been having good shaves, and I hope you all have been staying cool. Day here where I live, it got down to 102, and uh, which isn't bad considering that the temperature had been running between 104 and 107. So. Uh, all I can say is, thank goodness for AC. It cost us, but, yeah. I had some heat stress issues back in the 90s. 98, to be as to be uh, correct. And, uh, even though that was 20 years ago, Sorry if anybody saw me holding up the middle finger, going ahead and holding my ear down. I wasn't being rude, I was just holding my ear down. But, um... This is a cold water shave, if you could consider the temperature that the water comes out of the pipes. In the middle, you know, early August. When it's 100 plus degrees. Has cold? Sure, yeah. Like I said, I had some heat stress issues back in 98. And um, I don't do well with extreme heat. So the AC is just, that AC has been an absolute absolute blessing all right so we'll go ahead and go up on the back against the grain if you can hear the razor is doing its job quite well when I first got this old type razor um, It's a gift from one of my viewers, along with some number of other vintage razors of mine, such as my three new long combs, one of which is from the UK, my 67 Knack, and my 67 Slim Twist. You can British Slim Twist, um, which, you know, I called it an act, but I spoke to Matt Pasarsic about getting into that stolly and lubricating it. Um, checked with him and said, hey, is, uh, they basically the British call the knack, the, is that what they call the slim twist? As you know, the knack, the TTO knob is up underneath the head on the neck, and, and, uh, I asked him, you know, 
like how they called the British super speeds the rockets. So is, you know, did they just call the British snacks the slim twist? And he went, yeah, I believe so. So that's straight from Matt Passarzik's mouth to your ears. But, um, so I'll call it a slim twist. Residual slickness on this Parasso Green isn't bad. Oh dang, I forgot my pre-shave. Oh, bummer. I'll use it on the back part of my head. Used it on my face. Made it nice. Okay. One moment, let me go ahead and rinse off my front part of my head. Yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Nice and smooth. Really, really smooth. Great, great head shaver so far. Um, my last shave with it was really, really nice. So. Now I'm going to wet the back side of my head and I'm going to apply some of that um, crema and we'll finish up the shave. Alright, got that done. A little water in my ear. I think I'm going to pick up a couple more tubes of this Crimo as soon as I can. Don't need a lot. It's probably too much, but go ahead and rub it on in. That's starting to cool down. Watched uh hang on guys. watched a Don Youngner video where he was trying out the Rockwell Model T. Uh, he was very, very impressed with the uh, razor. He was very happy. Oh yeah, that menthol from that Crimo is kicking in. And then of course the menthol and eucalyptus from the Russell Green just makes it that much more nice. But uh, he was very happy with, uh, with waiting and not getting his money back. And, uh, sounds like it came in a from his description, a very, very nice, just, you know, very nice presentation as far as the box goes. And, um, I don't know about the 6C, I have the 6S, so 
I don't know if they package the 6C in that same box. I imagine they probably do, that they do the 6S. And I was very impressed with the... Oh yeah. I was very, very impressed with the packaging when I ended up receiving my 6S. And of course with the Model T he ended up getting a hundred blades um, and a couple of blade, dis and a, a blade dispenser I guess. Gonna have to check into Rockwell and see what that's all about. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe, maybe not because I use multiple types of blades, but Hang on a second, guys. Hang on, I gotta load some more soap on this here brush. Forgot to reload before I restarted the video. Yeah, everything Donald Younger had to say about the Model T was quite nice. He did a really, really good job on whacking off his whiskers. So, but I don't care how nice the present, me personally, if you want to spend the 195 on the 6S or Model T, go for it. Um, myself, personally, with my income and just my nature, you know, I just, I just cannot see no matter how nice the presentation is, no matter how well it's shaved, I just can't see spending almost $200 on a uh, razor. That is machine or made out of chromed Xamex, Xamex or Xamex, whatever they call it, but basically pot metal. Um, I'm glad to hear that they finally delivered on the razor, but you know, maybe if I would have had the money to put into the Kickstarter back when I first got into wet shaving which the kickstarter for the Model T started up oh I don't know my second year I think because I started wet shaving December of 14 December 18th, as a matter of fact. Um, so. Uh oh, that's not good. The head of my razor starts to spin. That's just not good. There is a little bit of overhang on the sides, the sides of this razor.
so it will kind of scratch at your ear. Today my son got his first big boy bed, which lucked out, a friend of ours down south, found one, I forget what it was for. He threw in on you to help us. Um, a used bunk bed. Very nice used bunk bed. Metal frame. All metal frame. No wood. But, um... From Ikea. And I'll tell you what. They built stuff quite well. Um... So for 80 bucks or 50, we got the bed, a really nice all wood bookshelf, and a really nice cabinet. Long enough for our our 55 inch big screen that was a gift from my girlfriend's dad because he ended up downsizing to a 32 inch for his bedroom. So he lives with roommates. So, they own the TV in the front room, and he wanted a smaller TV for his room. So, now we got a really nice three door cabinet instead of a beat up two door cabinet that we had it setting on. That was, I have no idea, at least 20, probably 30, you know, 20, 25 year old cabinet, if not older. Anyways, I'm going to rinse my head, and hang on, let me do some checking. Wow, that's really close, really, really close, oh, right there. There, be back in a minute. Anyhow, so... We got that nice new used furniture. <laughs> um, my son now has a nice, decent bed. We didn't put the ladder on for the top bunk yet, and we got to get a mattress for the top bunk, which is fine because my son don't need to be four years old climbing up on it because. If my son is anything like me, he'll go ahead and pull some stunt like I did when I climbed up on a 12-foot slide when I was his age. A little younger, actually, about two and a half, three. I looked at my stepfather, who was a United States Airborne Army Airborne Ranger, and was up on a 12-foot slide. I looked at him and said, Daddy, me jump, and he didn't think I would jump. He said... Oh, go ahead. Sure as, sure as hell, I jumped. <laughs> Ended up breaking, from what I understand, broke a collarbone, an arm, and like three of my ribs. So, luckily it was right down the street from the base hospital. But I imagine my mom gave him what for when she found out what happened. Anyhow, so yeah, that's the shape. Thank you for joining me. I hope you all enjoyed it. 
Um, I hope you all enjoyed that last video I did, the Stolly. Um, I know Abe and Dennis did. Um, yeah, everything clean. Razor, great. Um, Gillette Old Type, if you want a slightly more aggressive Gillette. Get a 1910s. I have a 1920s head, um, old type head. I don't think it's quite as aggressive. Um, it's off the Milady, but from what I understand, they didn't like you know say, oh, we gotta make you know we gotta make the girls' razors more wussified or anything like that. They pretty much just packaged it up to appeal to women and. Put a little bitty short handle and a cute little clam shell case and say, hey, this is for ladies. Anyhow, um, so yeah, maybe I'll do a head to head comparison. The Milady head versus the 1920s Milady head versus the 1910s old type head. Anyways, likes, comments, always appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for all of your subscriptions. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I very much appreciate each and every one of you. Um, especially you long time, you long time subscribers, man. I, I, you know, I do these videos for you guys, not for myself. I mean, I enjoy shaving and, and, you know, chinning with y'all, but, um, these videos are mainly for you guys, uh, you know, some people, I may not be their cup of tea, but some of you have proven that I am, um, you know, I mean, I've gotten some nice things from a couple of you, and y'all, both of you know how much I appreciate that stuff, anyways, so, ever need to reach me? All lowercase, no spaces, just lands, 59 gmail at gmail.com. Anyways, that's the shave. Thank you for joining me. Y'all take it easy. I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now. You know what, guys? I just went ahead and realized I didn't use any of the post shave products. Anyhow, so uh, pardon my brain fart. Um, if the smell offends, I apologize. Anyways, uh, with Dickinson's Witch Hazel. We'll knock this out real fast. Uh, a little bit of sting. Little, little bit of sting. Definitely... A uh, little more stain than, say, using a, you know, super speed. But, you know, damn, you go ahead, step up your aggression, and that's the price you pay. And finally, Parasso Green Aftershave Lotion. I absolutely love this stuff. Love the smell. Oh, and I ended up nicking my finger when I reached down. Nicked my finger right there on the blade of the razor. And a little bit of that aftershave just trickled down into it. And said, hey, hey, how you doing? Anyways, so now that is the shave. Um, Oh, I love this Parasol Green Aftershave Lotion. 
has a great smell. Burn, then it cools. Anyways, that's it. I'm done. I'm out of here. See y'all later. Bye.